Welcome to the Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser, and by Allstate Insurance. Are you in good hands? Welcome into the Terry Bowden Show, everybody. The number one ranked University of North Alabama Lions stay undefeated, 6-0 on the year. Big win on the road over Arkansas Tech, the Wonder Boys. Coach, it was kind of warm at kickoff out at Arkansas Tech in Russellville, Arkansas. But as that sun went down, <laughs> UNA offense got pretty hot. Yeah, that was warmed up about it. It was a great team effort because everybody did their part. Defense held the uh, opposition to 10 points. Great job by the defense. We scored, I think, 38 on the offense. Kicking team added seven more points. So everybody got involved. It was a team effort and I thought our best performance of the year. For the fourth time this year quarterback Lee Chapel throws for over 300 yards through the air. Seventh time in his career he goes out and connects. Has a great percentage on the night. At one point he was 18 straight completions but had a great night. Over 300 uh, yards as we said. Three touchdown passes. A call on his plays on his own half the time. Just did a great job. He's been a real uh, field general for us and uh, did an outstanding job last night. Mo Milam had eight catches, one for a touchdown. But when you're going to have a 300-yard-plus night, it's good to set that pace early, connecting on a deep 70-yarder. Folks will want to see this one a little bit later. Our first score goes to Tristan Purifoy, and again, Tristan gets in the end zone. Well, you really want to put the defensive backs on their heels, and when you miss all your deep throws early, they say, well, we can play tight. They're not going to hit those. But when you hit your first bomb for 70 yards, and boom, you score that quick, now all they can do is back up, back up, and you'll see all of our passes. They're probably caught five yards within the line of scrimmage. You're going to see the first half highlights in just a bit. Later on in the show, our player of the game and our play of the game. The Lions win it over the Wonder Boys of Arkansas Tech, 44-10. to They are 6-0 on the year. We'll come right back and look at those first half highlights in the win over Arkansas Tech right after this on the Terry Bowden Show. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TBA Credit Union, a better way, EA Nelson Company, and by Southern Fastening. You know, I may be new to the Shoals area, but TBA Credit Union has been serving this community for over 70 years. With seven branches full of financial experts offering personal service, TBA Credit Union offers low rates for mortgages, auto and personal loans, as well as higher rates on savings and CDs. TBA Credit Union is member owned and operated and now open to the community. Give TVA a call today at 386-3000 or stop it and tell them Coach Bowden sent you. TVA Credit Union, a better way. Hey, this is Terry Bowden. If you're looking for top quality equipment to maintain your property, then look no further than EA Nelson Company right here in Florence. They represent the top-notch players in the lawn and garden industry, such as Walker Mowers, Bad Boy Mowers, Massey Ferguson Tractors, Woods, and Bush Hog Implements. EA Nelson is a one-stop, full-service dealer providing sales, service, and replacement parts. Whether it's landscaping, cutting a pasture, manicuring a lawn, or preparing a green field, EA Nelson has the equipment for you. Come to EA Nelson Company to see what top-notch equipment is all about. They're located at 1011 Mitchell Boulevard next to the O'Neill Bridge in Florence. First, there was hammer and nail, then air-powered pneumatics, followed by cordless tools, both gas and battery powered. Now, from Senco, the leader in the power fastening industry, there is Fusion Technology. Power fastening with no gas, no hose, no competition. Senco's Fusion Technology creates the first true cordless pneumatic nailers. Five distribution centers in the southeast as a Southern Fastening Systems representative nearby to serve you. Southern Fastening Systems and Senco Brands, a team that can't be beat. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TBA Credit Union, a better way, EA Nelson Company, and by Southern Fastening. For the second consecutive week, the Lions go to the state of Arkansas, and the second time in a row, we pick up a win in the state of Arkansas, this time over the Wonder Boys of Arkansas Tech 44-10. J.D. Byers with the head coach, Terry Bowden. And, Coach, this is the first game we actually defend as the number one. We moved up to number one back on Monday. Yeah, I don't think it counts unless you win a game as the number one team. But it really doesn't mean anything right now. We're six games into the schedule. We're proud of the ranking. But we've got some big games coming up, as you know, Delta State, right, off the, right around the corner. And so let's just focus on this game a little bit, enjoy it, because we've got to do some real defending of that title down the road, that number one ranking. Before we get to the highlights, uh, at Arkansas Tech, the Lions get the win 44-10. But we go out and actually win the coin toss. And that's key because we get to make the decision. Plus, Arkansas Tech had been on a streak winning that coin toss. They'd won the coin toss. They had scored the first drive. Every game they had scored on the first drive this year, going back to first game last year. So we won the toss, set the tempo, 
didn't kick ball very well off the ball, but we got the thing going very quickly. Let's show you the toss of the coin at Burkle Field on the campus of Arkansas Tech and Captain's Meet. The Lions win. We will kick it away to the Wonder Boys dressed in the green over those bright yellow pants. Only natural grass field we play on all year. Good coverage. The ball was squibbed, though. He missed the ball down to the 40. There's a great hit just to start. Tommy Westbrook, nice hit right there. The comeback, they run again. Watch Jonathan Bird make a big hit there. Jonathan Bird doing a great job for us at outside linebacker. Then, then, then Marcus Dow comes up and deflects the ball. Marcus Dowd, the last three or four weeks, has been our leading tackler. That takes the wind out of their sails. You just mentioned they have scored on all of their opening drives. We force a punt. First time, three and out two. That was a great job of setting the tempo. Now we're backed up, but there's the first pass to Mo Milam right there. Got the ball off the goal line. Came back and Wes Holland makes a nice run. Gets the ball out there. Got some breathing room now. Another pass to Jason Smith. You'll see the nice pass to Jason Smith. Makes another first down. As we stop, though, you'll see the pass incomplete right here. They throw deep Darnell Jackson. But watch him grabbing his jersey. I mean, it's, I mean is it too much after the pass or what? Look like pass interference to us and all of our fans. Set to, to flip the field there, but we get a short punt. Get a short punt. We had the win. That was our kickers came out. They were they weren't ready to play. We missed an extra point field goal, shanked a punt, missed a kickoff. But defense came back right out there. As you saw them, John Ware right there. You see Janoris Jenkins having the coverage. They call pass interference. There's a nice tackle by Janoris Jenkins. Solo tackle there uh, on on the pass, but Demetrius Bryant. Our defensive end, Demetrius Bryant, great job right there to shut him down. And then right here on fourth down, you'll see right here, they go for it on fourth and two. They go into the end zone, try to make the throw for the big score, overthrown, and we get the ball back. Nice job defensively. Lucas Dar was in coverage. He's going to have a great game. Lee Chapel hooking up with Cam Wade for a completion. Nice pass there. But on the second play of the drive, third play of the drive, there it comes. There he is, Tristan Purefoy, 70-yard touchdown run. You talk about setting the tempo, that's when we set the tempo right there. Three plays, 82 yards, just a minute 13 off the clock. The Lions will miss the extra point wide right. Lead 6-0 early with 5.09 to go in the first over Arkansas Tech. We come back, kick the ball off, and he misses again. We have the wind behind us. and just missed the ball again, but they fumble around with it, get a good return. I mean, fumble the ball, fall on the ball. Don't get the good return, but they come back again right after us another time. Big hit by Lucas Starr. That uh, natural grass Bermuda, when it starts to die off, it gets slick. Yeah, they don't like their own field. Their, other, their coaches were talking about it. But there's another good play, Marcus Doughton, Demetrius Bryant right there. Now watch this big play. Lucas Darp, there's the interception, big pick right there, dives for the ball, is where he's supposed to be, puts us back on offense, come back with a run by Wes Holland. Wes Holland had 48 yards, caught a bunch of passes, blocked, did everything you could do. Mo Milam again, nine catches on the night. He's always making a play, a lot of misdirection. And there's Demetrius Good, 68 yards. What a night for Demetrius, but a nice little run there as he gets some action. Demetrius Good had 11 carries. There's a good one this time, making guys miss. Spin move at the 25, breaks it inside the red zone, and the Lions are going to get close. He's been hamstring injury, but here he is breaking to the outside. Gets the outside down to about the five yard line. They said he stepped out of bounds. We're forced to kick a field goal, and we miss it. We missed an extra point. We missed the field goal. We've got to really address that issue as we go back. 24 yarder misses wide right. Now stay tuned. The Lions are going to step up defensively. Watch number one on this drive. We're going to get another interception. There's a good play at the line of scrimmage. Marcus Doughton. Good job there by Doughton. And then James Brooks comes back. Big number 34, 6'5", 300 pounds. Strips the ball, but it's a little late. Uh, blew up that play. Here's Janoris Jenkins. Watch him on the coverage down here at the bottom of the screen. There's the pick six right there. Dot six. Just pick. Oh, he wants to score. They get the takedown right there, and he makes it. They hold us to a field goal. Ojibwe, Nathan Ojibwe makes the field goal. Nine to nothing. At least we're starting. We should have had a touchdown. We bombed down there twice. Or we go there three times and don't get but nine points. But we kick off to them. Nice coverage on the kickoff. Cedric Wilcox always down first on the kickoffs. So they're going to get their good field position here, try to put something together and get behind our coverage. DeAndre right Morgan didn't wrap up there. That would be, mm. We hit him for a three-yard gain, did not wrap up, and he makes a, about a 20-yard gain on that play. And there they make the great one-handed catch, 38 yards, got behind the coverage, uh, blown coverage, and all of a sudden we should, we, we should be ahead now about 15 to nothing, and it's 9-7. Uh, to seven. So it kind of made me mad, but we come back and, and uh, do a little bit more. Didn't get a big return here. But we come back uh, on offense, ready to push this ball up the field. An 83-yard drive coming up in 11 plays, and the return after a kick 
The Lions are setting up shop. Lee Chapel's going to get on fire. Well, he has a great job of just finding the open receiver right there. Jason Smith, he finds Jason Smith. Darnell Jackson on the sideline right there. He gets about 11, I mean, about uh, eight more yards. Comes back to, I mean, comes back to Smith on the little hitch screen. 11 yards there. Outstanding job. Watch him go then back to Mo Milam. People are, he's, he's dishing the ball around to a lot of different people. And then finally, here's the touch. Here's the big pass, touchdown pass. Tristan Purifoy with about 30 seconds left in the half. There it is. Puts it up. Good way to finish the second game in a row. We took the final drive and scored to really set the tempo to send the other team into the locker room thinking about what just happened. It was a big drive. We come back like last week and lay it on. Want to answer their scores. It's so key. We took the ball with 2.57 to go before the half. Mm -hmm. It takes about 2.53 and we go down leaving eight seconds on the clock. Purifoy does a great job using, puts his body between the defender and the ball in the end zone. Well, 200 pound receiver. He's got great physical skills and so he does a good job of making sure that ball can't go to anywhere but him. It was a nice finish for the half. So the Lions go to the locker room with the lead over Arkansas Tech. Wait till you see the second half. Lee Chappell's really going to get on fire. The Terry Bowden Show continues right after this timeout. The Terry Bowden Show brought to you by Layton Sheffield and Russellville Pharmacies and now Logan Pharmacy at Moulton, Woody Anderson Ford, Little Steve's and by Brinks Apartments. These days are still a need for genuine personal relationships, especially when it comes to your pharmacy. Sheffield, Leeton, and Russell Pharmacies are still locally owned and independent, the way you like it. From the time you walk through the front door, you just feel that family atmosphere. Plus, they provide fast, easy, and extra-friendly service every time. Rodney Logan and his staff have everything you need when you need it, and they also specialize in topical compounding medication, mixed on site. Sheffield, Leeton, and Russell Pharmacies. Great customer service at all three locations. Hey, this is Bobby White with Woody Anderson Ford. Check out our team's lineup anytime at WoodyAndersonFord.com. There's the quick to the outside Ford Mustang or the tough all-purpose power of F-150. For the passing game, we've got the all-new Ford Fiesta, passing the pumps at up to 41 miles per gallon. And everybody's all-American, the award-winning Ford Fusions. We're proud supporters of UNA football. Come see us at Woody Anderson Ford. More for less, period. Lion Pride is a tradition here in the Shoals, and especially at Little Steve's. Our second generation family-owned business has four locations in Florence and Muscle Shoals to serve you. We support UNA because UNA supports us. You'll never know who you'll find shopping at Little Steve's, and you'll never know who can help you out. Little Steve's, where UNA shops. Hey Terry, this is a heck of a place to shop. You're dead gum right about that. One, two, and three bedroom rental units in the Shoals are affordable when you rent from a family owned business that's been around since 1959. Brinks Apartments started three generations ago and now features more than 500 units across 20 locations, providing comfortable, affordable, and convenient living. Check out Oak Ridge, less than a mile from the UNA campus. Enjoy personal parking and lounge by the pool at Stonebrook Apartments on Cox Boulevard. Brink Apartments, family owned since 1959. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Layton Sheffield and Russellville Pharmacies, and now Logan Pharmacy at Moulton, Woody Anderson Ford, Little Steve's, and by Brink's Apartments. The Lions of North Alabama lead the Wonder Boys of Arkansas Tech at the half 16-7. Coach, because we won the opening coin toss, we get the ball to start the second half. Good return sets us up to start at the 40-yard line. Yeah, and it's time to set tempo, too, on this first drive. Can we go out there and have a good return and then drive and get the score and let them know we haven't laid back and, and rested? We're going to go out there and keep pressing and keep pressing. We do just that. Let's see the highlights here. The kickoff. Pretty it. deep. Uh, it's a squib kick, but we get it back at the 40-yard line, setting up a 60-yard field. Tristan Purifoy cuts across the field, picks up. Nice run up to the 40-yard line. That's what I like to have. Great field position right there. And we come right back and get the drive going after field position. Cam Wade, 19 yards, 14 yards on this little sh shallow crossing route. Mo Milam again. Here's nine yards, six yards to Mo Milam. Good job there. And then Jason Smith caught four passes for the night. Always in the right place. Nice run there for Jason. And we hand it off to Demetrius Good that time, right the middle. Run over linebacker, keep on going. Wes Holland do the same thing on the uh, draw play. Picks up a good gain on the draw play. Then watch Demetrius Good right here. Comes to the middle, power running. Great job. First game he's had to be able to go without a hamstring pull, uh, at least from the start. 
23 to 7 right now in the game. Uh, nice passing and running. At this point, Lee Chapel is consecutively hitting pass after pass. Demetrius Goo gets his first North Alabama touchdown. Now we kick it back to Arkansas Tech. It's going to force a punt, too, so a quick three and out. The defense is helping set the tone after we get a scoring drive to start the third quarter. Yeah, safety Brian Thomas makes the first hit behind the line of scrimmage. Comes back. Rod Woodson, watch a good breakup by Rod Woodson as they had the man screaming across the middle of the field. Demetrius Bryant right there tracking down another running back there. Forces them to punt the football away with that rugby-style running kick. Ball kicked short, but it bounced for his longest punt of the evening. That quarterback, you see the incompletions, the breakups. He had a guy in his grill almost all night on delay blitz as we disguised it well. Here's you and they coming back offensively. Mo Milam, one of his eight across the middle. Yeah, then we come back with big Wes Hall for a play. You'll see Wes catch a pass right now on the screen right there. Nice misdirection on the screen. Watch, he'll leap over the defender. That made every cover of every paper over there in that part of Arkansas. And he's back now. Now watch this 27-yard pass. Mo Milam, boom, boom. Touchdown. Great job, Mo Milam, and uh, great job of getting the touchdown. Wes Holland headed to the Olympic trials. He's going to be in the hurdles. That was textbook. I mean, it looked like an Olympic hurdle. Here's Schuster on the kick, and he's going to get a good foot into this one now. Goes all the way down inside the five-yard line. Yeah, kickers have settled down now. They're kicking the ball well. Good, good support. Good job covering that kickoff. Uh, Cortez Pickett makes the tackle on that kickoff. And there's another big play. You take away two big plays, broken coverages. They had about 100 yards. They only had, they had less than 300, 100 yards on two plays. So they get behind our coverage, and this is one of the rare times across midfield. Field position belonged to the Lions against Arkansas Tech in the win, the sixth of the year for the Lions. And we crowd the line. We're going to turn them away here and force only a field goal. Yeah, they cost a great coverage there. DeAndre Morgan had tried to throw back shoulder, couldn't do it. They did make their field goal. 30-10 to 10 is the score. That will be the last score that they get as our defense does a great job. Anytime you hold a team under two touchdowns, under 14 points, you've done it. DeAndre Morgan just kept there, fight a hold, don't squat down. Good little return, fought at the end there for that turn on that one. A 21-yard return. Daniel Allman is going to go high up the ladder, takes this one in near the first down marker. Sure did. Then Marcus McCorley comes back on this play on the sideline. Barks McCorley in his first year for Huston Chapel keeps for a big first down. He fakes the give, keeps the ball just enough to get the first down. We are forced to punt though on this drive. Nice little plays, but we're forced to drive. But watch the ball down right there on their 10 yard line. Now, anytime you can punt the ball inside the 20, it's a positive play. 35 yarder for Schuster down at the 11. There's a pass behind it, but that's because those guys up front getting penetration in the face of th one of three quarterbacks Arkansas Tech uses on yeah, the Yeah, they night. try to, you know, when you, when you have more than one quarterback, you don't have a quarterback, is the old saying. They probably are trying to find the guy that can do a job. But it's a great job. There's the block punt. Lucas Dar blocks it. Marcus McCorley gets the touchdown. Wow, great job on the kicking game with all that protection. They got the punt blocked, and our kicking game stepped up 37 to 10 right now. Lucas Dar with a big, big play on special teams. Josh Montgomery from Russellville on the point after conversion. Stay tuned, though. Marcus McCorley's not done. Here is Arkansas Tech putting together a little bit of a return. Tavin Davis for the Wonder Boys. Cartes Pickett again on the stop. Doughton on the first tackle right here. You'll see a Doughton show right here as they come around. There's Marcus Doughton on the second tackle right there. Second down, then coming back for the third time. There's Marcus Doughton on the third tackle right there. And they'll have to punt the ball in that series. Marcus Doughton had ten tackles for the evening. He and Tommy Westbrook both are leading tacklers for the evening. And the ball rolls into the end zone for one more short drive for us. Starts out with Chris Alexander, our backup quarterback. Runs the ball, then he sets pocket. Throws deep. There's Marcus McCorley, one of our fastest players. Catching the ball deep. You can see him run. Chris Alexander, 6 for 6 for the evening. He was 3 for 3 last week, so this year he's 9 for 9. Not a bad job. He's led a scoring drive in every game he's appeared in. And a 68-yard heave all the way down. McCorley gets behind their double coverage deep. And the Lions win it by a score of 44-10. And the Lions ranked number 1 in America, are now 6-0 and on the year. Got a short week to prepare. We'll have a preview of Delta State here in just a minute. But to go on the road, two consecutive weeks, two quality wins. It wears you out. The bus trip is six hours or so up. It's that bus trip back that gets it at 4 or 5 in the morning that uh, gets you down. But we've got to bounce right back now. You cannot live off this game's laurels. You cannot think about this game. It's immediately to Delta State. They played last Thursday. They've got a full week to prepare, and we got through Saturday. So a short week for us. Delta State, we beat them uh, handily during the season, but they banged us bad in the playoffs and went on to the national championship game. So this is our rival. This is a big one. 
from now on from nothing else but Delta State. We've got some uh, other things coming up on yes, the show. You'll want to see the player of the game. The CBNS Bank Take It to the Bank play of the game is also coming up as the Terry Bowden Show continues right after this. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TNT Fireworks. If it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. The Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, Jim Bishop Toyota, family built, community driven, and by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Terry Bowden Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions. Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf. The Marriott Shoals Hotel and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa. Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. Hey everybody, I'm Randy Owen, inviting you to join me on June the 2nd, 2012 for the 25th annual Randy Owen Celebrity Classic. We'll stay at the award-winning Marriott Shows Hotel and Spa, and we'll play at the beautiful Robert Trent Jones Golf Course. We're going to play a lot of golf, a lot of music. And remember, all your donations are tax deductible, and it helps the kids. Join me in the whole game for a good time and a great cause. Attention, attention, Shoals area. If your trade is worth $4,500, you can drive away in a Corolla LE for $99 per month or drive a Camry LE for $139 per month and add leather at no additional charge at Jim Bishop Toyota in Tuscumbia. Drive away in your next Toyota from the name you've trusted for over 28 years. Jim Bishop Toyota. Save time and money at jimbishoptoyota.com today. Or call Jim Bishop Toyota today at 383-3611. Great people. Great selection. Great prices. Why go anywhere else? Jim Bishop Toyota. You won't be disappointed. That's a Brad Bishop guarantee. Tonight, boys, I'll be the designated driver. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TNT Fireworks. If it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. The Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. Jim Bishop Toyota, family built, community driven, and by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser. The number one ranked UNA Lions went at 44 to 10 over the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys. Time to come back home now and get some home field advantage, hopefully. But, coach, it's time for that CBNS Bank take it to the bank play of the game. There were so many great ones in this one two interceptions, a block punt, two deep, long touchdown throws. But it was that first deep throw that set the tempo for the Lions. Well, we missed these earlier games. Our first throw, Lee Chapel, 70 yards to Tristan Purifoy. He had two touchdown catches for the night. Lee Chapel had three touchdown passes. But that one set the tempo. It was the play of the game. Three plays, 82 yards on the drive, and a 70-yarder to Tristan Purifoy. That came on our second offensive drive and in the first quarter right there. We followed up with a couple of interceptions, a good first half. Didn't lead by much in the second half, and that passing game got hot over the final 30 minutes. Yeah, it just set the tempo. Great job by all of our players of protection of the line very well. 
Coach, uh, a little bummed up. We do have some injuries, some guys that will need to heal up because we play Thursday night. Uh, talk about some of the guys who will have to be ready. Well, we have, we get, we're just now, just now getting back and finding out who the people are that are hurt. And uh, they'll get well. They'll have to recover on Sunday, Monday, and be ready to go. We'll come right back with the player of the game presented by Montagues and Frostbite right after this on the Terry Bowden Show. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Allstate Insurance. Are you in good hands? Hometown Market, CBNS Bank, banking the way it should be. And by the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranch. Library books, brown bag lunches, dinner at home. Frugality is back, but it's not all bad. Some of us are actually enjoying the hunt for new ways to save. Here's one, drive safely. When you don't have car accidents, you cost less to insure. Allstate will gladly pass those savings back to you. In tough times, every penny counts. That's Allstate stand. We invite you to shop with us at Hometown Market, conveniently located at 1421 Northwood Avenue, Florence, Alabama, in the Seven Point Shopping Center. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs with its large selection of groceries, fresh fruits and vegetables at our everyday low prices. Our meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by our qualified meat cutters. Look for our other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Hartzell, and Aniana. We truly appreciate your business and invite you to make us your Hometown Market. That's Hometown Market, 1421 Northwood Avenue, Seven Point Shopping Center, Florence. When I go to see my bank, they know me by name. I go to a place with banking the way it should be. My bank has convenience and great service. I love that it's a community bank. My bank says yes to lending. Our bank is CB and S Bank. <clears throat> it's banking the way it should be. I'm Nick Rocchio, and I'm the CEO of the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranches. When you look at our children, we want you to see a normal child. Uh, the abuse, the neglect, the abandonment should not be visible. Uh, the emotional scars that they carry with them through their lives are there. Uh, our goal is to teach them to live with those scars. It's easier to build boys and girls than to repair men and women. We're the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranches, and this is what we do. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Allstate Insurance. Are you in good hands? Hometown Market, CBNS Bank, banking the way it should be. And by the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranch. Recapping the win over Arkansas Tech 44-10. You've seen the player of the game. It's time to show you the Montague's Frostbite player of the game, Lucas Dar. Lucas is free safety for us, did a great job all over the field, did a lot of different things. There's a big hit in the backfield, tackle for loss, two solos for the night, comes back, it's just in the right place, great pick, dives for the ball, got the ball to our hands, and finally blocks a punt, scoring drives, seven points right there, intercepted the pass, blocked a punt, solo tackles in the backfield, Big night for our player of the game, Lucas Dar. Lucas Dar, presented by Montague's and Frostbite at the corner of Chisholm and uh, Pine Street over in Florence. Great sandwiches and frozen yogurt made your way. It is Delta State next. They've got the 62% passer back, Micah Davis. He's a good one. They've got a good team. They score a lot of points. They put a lot of offense on the field, and their defense gives up just about 20 points a game. Very similar to us. This will be a battle. We have got to play our best football. 487 yards of offense, Delta State averages. That will be a 7 o'clock kick. Thursday night at Brawley Stadium, need a huge crowd there. The Lion Walk will come down Royal Avenue at 5 o'clock as the Lions kick it off at 7. The Lions and the Statesman, number one versus number three in Florence, Alabama. We'll have the highlights for you next time on the Terry Bowden Show. Thank you for watching the Terry Bowden Show. Please join us again next Sunday night at 8.30.